Oh, I was I was very brave just there, and I started the recording with the shortcut, and the game did not actually crash. At least it doesn't look like it. Let's see what happens if I unpause. Oh, no crashing there. That's that's lovely. So uh, our mercenary contract is expiring soon, but we could renew it. And well, I don't think we will. Where are my troops anyway? Is sitting there in Champagne can't stand down because there are hostile units moving about. So I think we'll bring them home and then stand down because I don't really see a point in being part of this holy war much longer. Doesn't look like we're gonna win it. As you can tell right now the full Christian and the full Muslim army are fighting down in the south there. And it doesn't look all too good for the Christians. Out of wedlock. I don't care. Probably should care, but I don't. Nope, oh, can't stand down here because there's still enemies moving about. Let's move away from them. So I believe the Christian army was beaten. I just want to stand on my troops, really. Can I now, please? Oh, still too many enemies around. I really wish I could attach. Oh, we could go siege somewhere up here. Contribute a tiny little bit. Nantes has also become independent, has it? Or is that... Oh, it's an independent realm. It's just the county of Nantes. It's all of this is one county. Are you joking? Droth can marry. Very good, finally. We have become married. Wait, is that us? Yes. There's our beautiful little spouse, and of course it's everybody's business. Defeat. Well, let's see how we did. Our knights did fantastically well. They killed 171 man and lost only a fraction. Acquaintance was taken prisoner. A Jarl of Jemtland. This is crazy. That's the role, man, sir. We have a 100% chance of success. And we are betting on... Shit like a poem. And we have got another partial un martial unlock. Number of knights plus four. Well, we don't have enough, so... We'll just go marriage acceptance for yourself. Marriage acceptance for close mem members. Wow, that's that's crazy good. That means you can basically marry anyone to anyone. <clears throat> oh, 
Who are you? The Count of Dijon. Okay. Since you're the Count of Dijon, I don't get to do anything for you in your name. Should we join the Crusader horse down in the south? Nah, we're gonna finish our siege. I mean, they have a chance, right? Nope. Ah, that was it. That doesn't look like they're gonna win. However, we have won our siege. So I think we're doing much better than them already. Let us move forward. Away from war. <laughs> to do what we must. And uh, what is this? Uh, four prisoners. Okay. Uh, ten gold. Will do. Did that work? A hundred gold will do. No. 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 I just want gold. So anyone who gives me gold gets their people back. Oh, we're almost at a hundred gold, if you would look. And maybe if we get the hundred ransom. There we go, 800 gold. You know what that means. That means we get to upgrade our castle for the first time. Which I think is fantastic because it gives us three more point, three more gold, four fort level, and a whole lot more garrison and levies. Um, the French culture has the battlements and in innovation. Okay. Well... No upgrade for us then. Can we upgrade anything else? Let's upgrade this then and also build a city. Let's do that. Now we don't have city planning. Our culture is really bad. Well, I decide what we do, don't I? I am fascinated with city planning. I would like to be able to build a city, yes, thank you. The French should be able to build cities. That shouldn't be exclusive to other cultures. Ransom that lady? Sure. We have few knights. I don't think we have few knights. We just don't have all the knights. Wow, he's good. Let's make sure... Why can't I find spouses for these? Let's get him a spouse. How old are you? 25, then you get this 24 year old lady girl. Attentive care, massive health boost. Very good. Our alliance with the Trade Republic expired. We will be able to live with that. I think. So we'll just keep sieging where their armies aren't. Really. I don't think there is a Crusader host large enough to really deal with any of this. I wonder what it means that the flag is cut off at the bottom there. My counselor died. Ah, there. Steward is required. Yeah, let's recruit this man to court. How much? A hundred and nay, 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 nay. We will get our cousin to do it instead 
He's a wee bit wounded, but it's it's fine. How do you have so many counties, my friend? Lothringia. Oh, a lot of stuff has broken apart. Um... You. How about... You go get me a claim... Over there. How about that? Let's deal with West Frankia. Grow a little bit. While we can. Prisoners can be ransomed. 10 gold, 10 gold, 10 gold. Fourth in line for Flanders. I'm, I'm only going to start meddling with the succession lines once I'm like... Second or third in line. And I assume we can ransom one more person to him. Alright. Look at everything falling apart, my goodness. Well, it seems the Crusaders are finally turning things around a little bit. Definitely thanks to us. Someone's fighting in Champagne. Champagne. Drawn to the flame. There is something peculiar about Contus Perrien of Nantes. Is it the way she smiles, the unmistakable peal of her laughter? Or perhaps her unwavering iron will? I cannot quite put my finger on it, but at least one thing I know for sure. When I am in her presence, I find it hard to focus on anything else. I shall write her a little poem. Alright. More prisoners. Which means more ransom. But I assume you are going to tell me if I can ransom someone. Yeah, 50 gold. So we will just go and siege during wars and ransom everyone. <laughs> this is what we'll do. How long will this take? Three years. I think city planning is a good idea. Wild Hunt. Yeah, let's go ahead. She invited me to a hunt. I did not hesitate. I am stalking through the underbrush, my page at my heel and my hound just ahead. It seems as if it has found a trail that suddenly my concentration is shattered by a woman's scream. I'm coming for you, my love! Within what must have been a minute, but it felt like an hour, I reached a clearing. Prayen is on the ground before me, disheveled and weaponless, opposite her, and just about to strike stands a huge wolf. My arrow strikes true, and the beast falls to the ground for a moment. All Perrien can do is stare, but then she stumbles forward and throws herself into my arms. I need you, my love, right here, and now don't mind the page who might be looking. And the dog that might be licking a bare bottom or two. They are just being friendly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Deary me. No more county control. I will at some point figure all these shortcuts out. So let's get some county control out here. Should almost have anyway. No! King Fingal is the new culture head. How oh, dare is he? How strong are you anyway? Count Milon. 
get the trade rowdy, my nephew and heir. I wonder if my wife will get pregnant at any point. For four more years, we have a massive health boost. That's so cool. She's so small. I think. Well, we've won the siege here. Let's go siege more. And change his contract. High taxes. And... Protect the title revocation. The liege cannot revoke the vassal titles. Nah, I don't care. My heir shall be free from meddling before he even comes of age. Oh, looks like uh, the Crusader army has actually gathered strength again. While we fought for our rights up here in the north. Where are we at anyway? That's not too bad, not too shabby. Our contribution isn't terrible. We don't need to be in the thick of things to make a valiant contribution to the efforts. I don't need to be part of that huge crusader host, though I totally would be if I could attach. Which, as we all know, I cannot. I like where Strankia should be mine. County of Valois. They will not accept, not our du jour vassal. We have inherited the barony of Joinville. Um, what do you want? About the state of his troops. These letters are supposed to be strictly diplomatic in the nature, but of course, they sometimes dip into more personal le Yeah, sure. Let's talk, man. Let's talk about troops. I feel like that's synonymous with some for something, but... We'll see. <clears throat> so what barony did I inherit? Joinville. Yeah, okay. I'm totally over my limit. That's not ideal. <clears throat> what should I give up, though? Both of these are baronies. Which one of these is... Like, can I just give away the barony? I can. Let's give it to one of my knights. Our martial and knight. He shall have the barony. No, 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 no. Just the barony. Barony of Joinville. There we go. <coughs> and... Let's check around a little bit. We probably... We are son. Where's that? Oh, yeah. So we hold all this. So this here is... Hmm. Why can I... No, I don't want to grant the county. I just want to grant... Oh, that... Oh, okay. So it generated us a vassal. Okay, what else do we hold? And Shalon is this entire... county there. Was our focus switched? Now it's still on city planning. Good. The new head of culture is a man of culture, I see. <gasps> we are being besieged and my troops are not doing anything about it. 
Move, men. Yeah, let's get this unpressed claim for sense or sen. Probably it's sen and not sense. But what do I know? I learned Latin, and even that I don't understand or remember anything about anymore. Camp dispute. Let's do a big fat speech. I get up and deliver a speech, and there we go. I impress everyone. If we don't, there are many outsiders who will take advantage of our internal squabbles to seize our lands and impose their rule on us. Look at them, looking abashed. How glorious, wildly known. Good stuff. Alright, our armies are about to fight, I think, I hope, I don't know. Our commander's in place, our knights are ready. That's not a lot of knights. Force. 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 Whoever actually is a knight will fight as a knight. Oh. Seems that war isn't about us. Oh, goody. Our wife is pregnant. Good girl. Bear us heirs. So, Reims is attacking Provence, it looks like. Fine by me. And we are almost up to another lifestyle choice. Spouse opinion plus 50. Oh. Number of knights, we don't really need that. Peace acceptance, plus 10. What? Are you telling me I can win a, a war at 90% with that? Man, those new lifestyle choices, those really, really have it in them. That's fantastic stuff. What's our contribution these days? That's okay. That's okay. There we go, Marshall Perk, and we will go for loyalty and respect. So let's check out our lovely, beautiful, wonderful wife. Look at that. Respect <laughs> and loyalty. She has that. Oh no. Our wife is no longer pregnant. I am so sorry, my darling. It is, it is really interesting, because when I first saw Crusader Kings 3 screenshots and, and all that, I wasn't so psyched about the whole 3D models, but it's funny. It does actually help with uh, feeling a little bit more immersed, feeling a little bit more involved with the people uh, that you're presented with. So that, I think, is, is really, really quite cool. I like that. It's very enjoyable. We are about to win our siege here. And there we go. We haven't got much out of it, but... Uh, we probably have to go for this here. Paris. Let's besiege Paris directly. So this is being upgraded. And I was upgrading something here, wasn't I? Let's upgrade that as well. Can't construct a new holding. What could we have? Outposts, defender advantage, military camps. Probably go with hunting grounds. Yeah, let's build that. It's just a hundred gold. Let's get some improvements going that are cheap, but also give us money. Well, cheap-ish. We have taken prisoners in the siege again. Very good.
I'll take 10 gold. Um, I wanted to go to my prisoners. Let's check through them. 10 gold, 10 gold, but won't accept. Won't accept. No one wants to accept. Uh, we're not sieging anything. So, there doesn't seem to be any sort of artifacts. At least I haven't gotten any yet. Nothing to hold in our cold, cold, cruel hands. It's mainly the sieges, so I feel like... I'm totally winning this war just by sieging in the north while they fight in the south. I mean, they've done a few sieging thingies there, but... I'm totally helping. Right, do they actually work? Like, do they do anything? Yeah, Clermont. Plus 11%. Rouen. 11%. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing good. People need to be proud now. Ah, she's dead. Don't need to pin her anymore. I mean, now there might be a greater need to pin her than ever because she's not gonna stand up for herself anymore. Okay. I know how we can employ both strategies. Oh, very good. Improved pillaging, improved maneuverability. Definitely improve everything we can. Hello. Let's walk down here. Ah, uh, I see an enemy coming, so we should go this way, rather. Can we also... Let's check through our prisoners here. Is there anyone halfway good? Halfway good as a knight. You are pretty, pretty old. And you're all women. I'll give you a wife for 25. Uh, for 5. That's okay. I know how important love is. I want to keep you apart. This guy. Let's negotiate. Come on, my boy. You will be one of my new knights. How about it? There we go. And you will be forced to be a knight. For us. Knight effectiveness is 175%. That's silly. But if it works, you know. Like the Crusader holds crushed or is crushing. We're just walking toward our next target here in Luxembourg. Victorious Crusade. Saint George has granted King Connell victory in the Crusade for Aquitaine after defeating the Sultan Mu'aid and his heathen warriors on several occasions. Saint George is with us. And we get 71 gold, 300 and something piety, and a good bunch of uh, stuff, and our beneficiary got a nice title out of it. So I can now move my troops home to Champagne. Alba grew considerably. Making a nice little barrier between us and the heathen infidels. Let's stand our troops down. 
And now let's see all the options that we got around us for warfare. Don't have a Casas on her, but we can definitely produce one, which we definitely are going to be doing now. Let's get... Uh, Valois. That was it. We already got claims and all the other things here. So we would have to fight the whole Umayyad, but they are currently super weak, so we could probably press some of our claims. Her claim. My claims. Du jour. It's all about this one here. So should we? They're currently pretty weak. But that's a big, big currently. Let's see. No relationships whatsoever. Can't marry our heir to anyone. Okay, let's shop around a bit more. What can we do for you? Just press our claim here. He has one ally. And he's inside the realm already. So we'll just do that. And where are my rally points? Here. That's fine. Our army will go forth, led by us in person. The enemy is turning to face us, potentially. They are not, but they will be caught. So we are fighting this dear king here. Who is a better military strategist than us? That much is certain. But we have very much won this battle. Due to the virtue of our way superior troops. Let's have a little look at the details there. Our bowmen did us proud. Our knights also. I didn't lose a single one, and they slaughtered 64 of his men. So he cannot siege because he doesn't have enough men to do it. He needs 550. He's gonna replenish, so he will eventually have enough men. Um... See, we have some new prisoners and some old prisoners. Any changes here? No. Ah, our culture has discovered city planning, meaning I can build a city over here. Which I cannot hold, I am aware, but this city is meant to be something for us to improve upon. And he has raised some mercenaries, I would say. Now, our wife is pregnant again. Good, good luck on our part. Most fortunate. Can I ransom him? Won't really help. It looks like we're going to catch them. They will not be able to run away.
Potential, you will win decisively. All right, let's see it. Let's make it happen. A decisive victory indeed. Well, all those lifestyle traits are really coming in handy. It looks like our knights are basically invincible now. We have lost not a single one in either of these battles. Well, he has missed some here and there. Well, lost them, not missed them. Maybe he misses them too. I don't know their relationship. I'm not going to assume. Let's speed this up. He doesn't really pose a danger to us. It's very weak troops as it is. All right, let's go here. We do control the objective now, so our war score is just going to keep going up. Oh. Bardup. Let's go for Parnell. And we will, of course, give her a good education. In the term, in the form of, of myself, of course, and a good spouse. Let's go for alliance power. The kingdom of Alba. Well, that's good. They're kind of close and big and everything. Or Prince Ludwig of Bavaria. I mean, Bavaria is also kind of big right now. They're very hot. Very hot commodity. I don't know if Alba is just going to keep that. Also don't know. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for Alba for now. And he's even going to accept the matrilineal marriage. That's ideal. That is very ideal. Excellent. Our rival Sibylla has died. Loses stress, gains prestige. Okay. County of Valois. Oh yeah, see it done. Definitely we want the County of Valois. Valois trade. Good, so what can we do? King's Guard. More potential knights, so the game is going to tell us, hey, you have no knights anymore. While in reality, we have some knights. So what else to attack? First, let's finish this war. Our aunt is being an unfaithful little harlot. Attack, men, forward. I like that if you want to be an, a commander, you can actually work towards making that a thing. So you don't necessarily have to absolutely kill yourself over it. I enjoy that. Because before, leading an army was always just a huge darn risk. The Bori Reformation. Okay. Right, um... Valois is next on our list of targets. But... First, let's check out... So we have this duchy, and that's all that up there. Pretty much. We don't have the duchy of Burgundy, we don't hold that title. And we're also not going to hold the Duchy of Valois. So I think... I think... I wish it was easier to see my own holdings. I've already given away Dijon. I don't want to give away Langres because we have invested in that. 
is it sensible to hang on to that just because of that? Because... Sense is also not bad. Hmm. Well, I'll just give it to someone. Let's give... Uh, Rethel... Obermandua. Obermandua does not belong to me. Give Rethel... And Chalon to someone and we'll keep this down here. Right, let's grant this to... Relevance. Are there no family members there? There, my cousin, steward, and vassal. But he already is the Count of Sancerre. I could give him Orléans. Doesn't have a title claim on me. Now let's give it give Orléans to someone else. Though Orléans is I mean it has way more construction slots than what we got. Oh, I'm so undecided. Let's give Orléans to someone else. Grant it to someone. All these already have something. So let's give it to the guy who has a claim on the Shaktim of Minorca. And of course, I have to click this again. You get this. There we go. And we need to get away with Rethel. No idea how that is pronounced, but that's fine. Claim on the county of Orléans, rather not. Rara Perm. Let's see, prowess. We need more knights. You have vassal and knight. Or oh, we need to, you know, reward knights. But you don't have children. Prowess, please. Is a reaver? Oh, this guy looks good. Orson. You get the county of Rethel. So we get rid of that negative modifier. And probably also get a whole bunch of knights. Forced to be a knight, forced to be a knight. None of you get to decide to be a knight or not. Okay, I don't care. Just some mayor. What is it with you? How do I have armies raised? Excuse me? Double excuse me? Who the hell are you? And why are... What? What was that? Why were there troops up there? I cannot comprehend that. But we want to absorb Valois into our own little holding. And we would like to declare this war because we already have the prestige now. Uh, I think we should put another rally point over here. That sounds like a good idea. There. And maybe up there. And we'll raise all here and move them directly out to Valois. To meet the enemy head on. Well, okay, here's other plans. As it seems. But you're not getting those other plans. Well, that was a fairly big defeat. And we have taken a prisoner. Let us negotiate a release because you might be... Yeah, you're good enough for a knight. 
Come on, join our court, dear Nightman, sir. And you will be forced to be one of my knights. We have constructed some more money generating buildings. Let's start building the city. I did not because we were at war. So let's construct it now. A faction against us. Well organized levy service. Good stuff. We've won a siege and taken a prisoner, and this also ends our little war here taking the county from the lady let's disband our troops and who do we grant this to i'm sure we have more knights deserving of this you sigismund come on now have valois be my vassal Ah, uh, ransom. 25 gold. Sure, we'll do it. More prisoners. 30, 50, 50, 100. Always start with the ones that are actually really valuable. And then work your way up. There's a lot of money to be made in ransoms. One of our cousins was taken prisoner, I don't care. So, where should we focus our attention next? I feel like, let's check our duchies. This is champagne, yeah? And we're totally outside of Champagne. Yeah. Duchy of Bar. Burgundy. Oh, that's a void. That's Burgundy. You are not very strong, are you? Don't have a Casa Spelly. My goodness, he's weak as hell. Um. My friend, would you would you make sure we get a little claim over there? It's time to increase our realm. Let's check the factions. So we have increased vassal power. So what do we do with him? Modify feudal contract. Let's see. Can't I make him not be in that? Why can't I force him out of... Uh, out of factions through this? Can't I sway him? Hmm. Maybe not. What is this? Yeah. Not holding. No gint. Let's, yeah, okay. We just got one of the baronies back in our lower holdings. That wasn't ideally what we wanted. Lothringia, are you at war? Certainly looks like it. I'm a little bit worried with all these big kingdoms around me failing and falling apart makes me worried about my own future you know so you know what we're gonna do about that 
we will go ahead and try help secure our own future by getting some pikemen in our levy as well. Why is this 100 red? Oh, we're at our limit. So we have to upgrade these now. Okay, let's upgrade these. Upgrade these definitely. And these too. That's a lot of money to be spent, but our men at arms are important. The most vital cog in the war machine that we have. Decisions. Found a new kingdom. Hold three or more duchies. Realm size is 30. Okay. Oh, we have a new lifestyle perk point. The Peacemaker. Peace acceptance plus 10. Which would lead to Gallant. Monthly prestige plus 20%. Attraction opinion. That's all crazy good. My brother Hilbert has died. Big shame. Let's go on a pilgrimage, shall we? And we will go to the churches in Vaticano. And it is time for us to depart. Yes, let's get a claim on Bar. So Burgundy, 350 troops, is it? I have this little claim over here. You see? That's kind of what I deserve, you see? That's what I'm going to get myself. Should we get sympathy for heathens? Or disdain for heathens. Definitely disdain. I agree and I would not trust anyone who came to their defense. Damn heathens. Oh, look at our army. 4,000 men. I have walked the holy path. Well, that was quick. That was very quick. Our alliance with... Uh, Everyone is invalid. We have a new bishop. My chancellor died. Well, Alba is out of this area anyway. It doesn't really matter much. It is good to be home. We are no longer a pilgrim, meaning... We can lead our own armies again. Our daughter is curious. All right. Yeah, the upgrades here are sensible to our defensive capabilities. All right, let's go fight that army there. Or rather try and catch them. Which we have now managed. Let's go down here. Directly to the capital. We are going to lose some troops along the way, but that's okay. Our truce with the Patriarch Hermann ends. Incredible work, Jack, my dear uncle. So we could immediately attack them again. So how does this um, war score acceptance thing work? Will not accept. Peacemaker plus 10. So yeah, that's just 10% war score. Basically what we got. We just have that. That's amazing. Yeah, let's make a new unity speech. And I am glad we all agree to stand together. A united front as a team. Wouldn't want to be not be a team. 
20 gold. He's not gonna pay it for you, but you're not great enough for me to recruit you either. So do we have more prisoners? Um, military strength, no. Rank, no. I'm just looking for people with good prowess, but that doesn't seem to really be anyone. So the chaos around us has really worked out in our favor. We have made quite the name for ourselves. Through inheritance as well as... You can call your house member King Enguerrand of Jerusalem. No, thanks. Of Captain Shijide. Won't accept. Right, we're at 100% anyway, so we shall enforce our demands. So be it. Thank you very much for giving me this new county here. Which we will, of course, immediately grant to someone else. Because we can't hold it. And we'll give it to one of our knights, I think. One of the younger knights. This one here. See, it makes sense to be my knight. I don't like that it doesn't tell me if they're actually all going to be home. When I click there. But it looks like it don't need to be in your land anymore. Okay, so we don't have a truce with you anymore. But we also don't have a Casus Belly to declare. So... Oh, become a Holy Warrior. Or a Forder. I think we'll be a Holy Warrior. Victory of the Battle of the Milvian Bridge. The night before the battle, Constantine dreamed that victory would be granted if he painted a Shiro, a symbol of Christ. It's the it's the P with a crossed axis. That's the Shiro. Um, he did exactly that. And the next day, they overran the forces of the usurper Maxentius, who fell into the Tiber River and drowned. This is, by the way, the story of how uh, Christianity became the state religion of the Roman Empire and a Constantine. This is the one. All right, and we have uh, experienced a whole lot again in very little time. Oh, quite a bit of time, but uh, it's enjoyable, I, I can tell. So this is better than I initially thought, playing a tribal nation, but it also still kind of looks like a whole big of a mess in many other ways. So what can we do with you? <laughs> you with your drunken spouse there. Do you have anything that would be interesting for us? Uh, a feast. Your fortune builder. Um. Yeah, okay. We're looking forward to the feast. Let's let's see what the feast does and then we'll move on. I would love to have a chance to settle this on the battlefield. So we get discussions of strategy for five years. But she doesn't like us very well. What do you think, lady? I've been I've been leading my own wars for many a year now. Alright. Someone recognizes our intellect. We're not even wounded or anything. Farewell, cousin. It was a great feast. Look at how happy they look. Aww. Isn't that beautiful? And we almost have the same crest, too. Very nice. So. Uh, new title claim, I would say. Tonnen... Tonneros? Tonnera? Tonnera? Tonnerie? Tonnerai? We'll just work our way down here. Maybe we go for Shalon. 
There's a Shalon. We already got one. Let's complete our Shalon collection. But we also don't have all that much money. I think we should put our money up a little bit first. Yeah, we'll do that. Thanks for watching and see you around. Bye bye. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I can't quick save. Alright, I have to uh, I still have to click. I don't trust this. Eh.